Okay, so with this little combination, you can do some serious work. So, people keep asking about a practical application uh, for the Solon one What can you do that's practical? I've done tons of practical stuff with this uh, Solon one version 1 in the time that I've had it on camping trips and all kinds of stuff. And uh, it just keeps functioning along, just as you saw in that first video. But a very practical application that I've just started using this on is charging these battery packs for these 40-volt uh, lithium-ion power tools. Okay, well I just got home from work and noticed Amazon made a delivery and these are my new uh, lithium ion power tools. The thing I'm most interested in is this cordless uh, chainsaw, lithium ion 40 volt cordless chainsaw. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that up to the uh, Solon One and see if the Solon One can charge it. That would just be great. If not, I'll have to go over to my larger uh, solar unit over my shed. But this is Solon One uh, version 1. The old first version that I made, it still works fine. I use it for a lot of uh, camping and trips and things along that line. So I will hook it up and uh, see if it can charge up these electric power tools. And then uh, what I need to do out here is fall this tree. I've got this uh, tree that died in my yard. So I read the reviews on these tools and these tools are really well reviewed, especially the chainsaw. If you go to Amazon and read the reviews on this uh, chainsaw, it's uh, really well reviewed. So I'm looking forward to this. Oh, it's nice and light. Oh, that's a nice size chainsaw. The battery pack goes in there, so yeah, we'll hook this up and uh, see how it works. Okay, so I've connected the uh, battery to the Solon One, and uh, it's charging just fine. So, apparently, no issue with the charging these power tools with a uh, Solon One. So, that's great to know. I'll go ahead and uh, set the panel here so it can uh, catch a little sun while it charges. So, yeah, very useful. So, I really like the simple operation so far. This uh, All you've got is some uh, bar and chain oil that goes in here. Um, it came with a small bottle. I went ahead and ordered a, a larger bottle of that, so that will uh, help the blade cut through the wood a little better. Keep the blade lubricated. And then over here, you've got access to the um, bar itself, and this screws off very easily. And uh, What's interesting here is the uh, sharpening system that you can engage and actually keep the blade sharp. Um, I've never tried something like this, so I'm looking forward to trying that, seeing how that works. So, it's been a while since I had an update on the hexacopter. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, hexacopter to video the uh, tree falling. And uh, I just went through rebuilding it. Um, I had it up flying when the uh, tornadoes were going through here a few months back and uh, had a pretty serious crash, but I rebuilt it. Right now I'm 3D printing a uh, cover for it, and this cover will snap together in quarters. And uh, the other piece to that's printing off right up here. And uh, Vertex is watching on. He himself is a product um, from off this uh, 3D printer. You can look him up on the Thingiverse. Vertex, kind of fun, all snaps together. Okay, so let's see what the uh, charge level's at. It's been about, uh, I don't know, half an hour. It's almost fully charged, and I'm going to say that that's enough of a charge to uh, fall the tree and uh, probably do a lot more. So let's uh, put this in the saw here. It's as simple as that, folks. Insert the battery and uh, pull the trigger.
So the battery pack is a uh, 37 volt, 2.8 amp hour battery. So there's no issue charging these battery packs uh, with the Sol in one. So pretty cool combination to be able to take the energy from a Sol in one and uh, bring down a tree like that. So that tree will uh, provide some of the uh, firewood for me this winter for keeping my house warm. So normally I, I wouldn't just cut down a tree in the yard like that, but since this tree died completely, um, it's it's a great use of the tree. So okay, so. I took a little break from the tree last night. You can see the tree there. It's uh, ready to be limbed up. I put this uh, battery on the uh, Solon one last night and in about an hour to two hours um, it completely charged up the uh, battery pack. And uh, really nice little system. And uh, because this is a 2.4 amp hour battery, 37 volt, um, I can charge it many times off the uh, Solon one without any issue. And if you were to keep a Solon one in the sun while you were using this and had two battery packs, <clears throat> I bet um, you could work through the day. I'll have to uh, test that as I use this and uh, use the weed whacker. But uh... So this saw is doing a great job uh, limbing up this tree. We're going to have some good firewood for the, uh, the winter, but we're going to go ahead and take the battery pack while there's uh, still some good charge on it and hook up the uh, weed eater. So I have half of the uh, cover printed out for the uh, hexacopter and uh, the other quarter is on the printer now and it's going to come along here. There'll be an opening for the GPS antenna on the back, but uh, got the... Uh, other quarter printing off here. So even though this 3D printer has a five and a half by five and a half cube printing radius, you can print some pretty large stuff if you make it modular so that it uh, connects together. Um, as you see with this little guy, he's multiple pieces. So you could print each of these pieces at a really large size and then snap together a really large size uh, robot or whatever, in this case, a uh, cover for a hexacopter. So. So, we're going to try this uh, battery pack in here. It's nice that the same battery pack swap between the two devices. You can see it's uh, got plenty of charge there. And just pull the trigger. No more uh, starting or pulling or any of that nonsense. So my final thoughts on these are they seem to be great products. I look forward to using them um, long term and I can report back later if there's interest how they hold up long term. You know, give them a year's worth of hard use and then see if they're still working well. But yeah, to be able to charge up the uh, pack with the uh, Solon one uh, gives you some real portability. Um, and 
And even if you just charge it up on a wall charger, I mean, it's it's very cost effective. So, uh, so far, so good. I uh, like the tools, and I will uh, keep experimenting. There's probably some stuff I can do as far as making my own battery packs for these that would give me a lot more amp hours if I want to run for longer periods of time, and the packs are probably costless as well. So, I'll begin to look into that. All right, guys. Talk later.